Hello guys, it's Monica from EDAC. Today's video is special because I will show you how to measure rooms and model them in SketchUp. I will use this flat as an example. I need some equipment, so I have 10 meter tape, a laser measurer, piece of paper or laptop. You can measure and draw a 2D plan on a piece of paper and then model it in SketchUp or you can skip the paper and model it directly in SketchUp. Let's start with the main room. To make a precise 2D plan in SketchUp, I use the tab view. I can click on the tool over here or go to camera tab, standard view, tab. Then I choose parallel projection. I begin at the corner, measuring the distances between walls. I know the width of doors and windows and sizes of door openings. For longer distances, I use a laser measurer, for shorter ones, a tape measure. When working with someone else, one person measures and the other sketches the plan on the paper or directly in SketchUp on the computer. Measuring a room alone can be a bit challenging. You have to measure and take notes at the same time. Although it may take a bit more time, the end result will be the same. I measure the room all around and draw it in SketchUp. Now I will include the wall thickness. You can measure it by yourself or check construction plans. In my case, the width of the walls differ. Partition walls are the thinnest, load-bearing walls are thicker, and external walls have the greatest width. I use guidelines to set the width. Then with the line tool, I will trace along the guidelines. Let's delete the center face as it's not needed. The walls are accurately set. Now let's draw the door and window openings. Having already considered older positions, it will be easier to put them on the plan. When I hover over the internal line of the wall, it snaps into place. This is a green endpoint indicating the start or end of the line. It's important not to confuse it with the blue midpoint. Draw a line from each endpoint, marking the location of door and window openings. Alright, it's time to draw the other rooms, like the bathroom and bedroom. The process remains the same. Measure horizontal distances, add wall thickness, and set door and window openings. Alright, with our 2D plan correctly drawn, let's move on to creating the 3D model. First, I check the height of the rooms and door and window openings. Once that confirmed, I switch the camera to perspective and use the push-pull tool to give the height to the walls. Clicking on the planes, I add thickness. I follow the same steps for openings, clicking on the plane, then specifying the height for doors and for windows. Next, I use push-pull tool to create openings. Sometimes you may need to make a few attempts to get it just right. Now let's remove unnecessary edges to clear our model. We've finished the important steps of measuring and modeling the building. Let's add doors and windows. Adjust their sizes using the scale tool or by editing within the group, moving faces and edges to fit the openings. I often use ready-made models from 3D Warehouse. Let's draw the floor and ceiling using the rectangle tool. I will create two rectangles and remove the line between them. Then I will use the push-pull tool to give them thickness, let's say 15 cm. After that, I will group them together. To make the floor, I will just copy the ceiling and move it down. Don't forget to organize everything by creating tags like floor and ceiling and assign each element to the right tag. Now let's add more stuff to our models like heaters, installations, light switches, sockets and so on. Measure their width, length, height and distance from the floor. You can download all these models from 3D Warehouse library. Make sure to check their sizes and distances from the walls. It's a good idea to measure each element from its center point and then check their dimensions. 
Use guidelines to set the distances between walls and the center points of elements. It makes placing light switches and sockets much more precise and easier. All these steps make your SketchUp model more complete, so you don't miss any important details in your project. Now let's measure the ceiling. Measuring hanging wires on the ceiling can be a bit tricky. A ladder can be a big help, but if it's not possible, a laser measurer comes in handy. Simply mark the location of the hanging wire on the floor, then check the distances from this point to the walls. In SketchUp, you can make 2D shapes using the line and circle tools to mark elements on the ceiling. Use guidelines to make your work much easier. When that's completed, it's time for a very important part of the inventory. Photos and videos. Remember to capture each elevation in photos and consider creating a short video highlighting tricky elements with commentary about their details. This way you will have a chance to review all the details of the interior in your project. Measurements and SketchUp model are done. Thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edag.org. You will find there many free assets, articles, webinars, and very first SketchUp courses. See you there. Bye.